hi welcome to my channel it is josie josie here i'm glad you're doing well and you had a lovely christmas time i had a lovely time myself and i thought i'd come to you today with my most recent make and in this video i'll be reviewing the d and o magnolia dress if you've been on my channel long enough you know i've gone on and on about making this dress and i've never gotten around to making it until recently and this was meant to be my Christmas dress, however, I wasn't able to get it ready for Christmas. But I was just three days late, which is not so bad, it's still the festive season, so I've had the delight of wearing it to church today. And I was so glad, it actually feels very elegant. And I completed it yesterday, yesterday being the 28th of December, and I've worn it on the 29th of December. So I'll make sure I still take the opportunity to take a picture of it by my Christmas tree. And I thought... I'll review this pattern for you and I made this gorgeous dress out of a triple crepe fabric. I don't know if my camera can focus. I made it out of a triple crepe fabric which was gifted to me by Fabrics for All, which is a local fabric store in Leeds and I joined their bloggers team. So I'm gifted fabric in exchange for a blog post and it's a gorgeous fabric. I never knew there was such a thing as triple crepe. I knew there was crepe. I thought that's all it went to. It's a triple crepe fabric. It's quite thick. Not very thick that you're wearing. You feel like it, you're wearing a sweatshirt. But it's quite a heavy, strong fabric. And it's not one you can, that easily creases. So if, if at all you want to venture out in making a cloth that you can pack and wear at the end of the day, I think triple crepe would be your friend. It doesn't crease that easily. And I thought I'd review this pattern for you and definitely the fabric too and how it worked well. And this is the D and Do Magnolia dress. I know you've seen lots of it. I don't know when the pattern was released, but so many people in the sewing community have sold it up. And it features two variations. Variation A is a long sleeved dress, which is also a maxi dress with a slit at the front. And it also features a plunge neckline, which would show quite much. And this is version B, which features butterfly sleeves. And it's a knee length dress and probably the neckline doesn't show a bit too much. I think I went middle with both. I probably, I don't know whether I went with the plunge, but I don't want to show a lot of, a lot of this having breastfed two children so i don't think anyone would be interested in seeing this showing at all i don't want to make the dress not look right but and this dress also comes in sizes 34 to 46 and probably i'll show you what i did different with this particular dress the pattern recommendations actually this recommendations for the fabric version a they recommend four meters i actually went in with three meters of a wide fabric and three meters were really enough actually it's now that i've looked at the pattern pack i would just bought three meters i thought they would be enough and ended up being enough i didn't have a lot remaining and i went for size 36 i know from the measurements i would probably have gone with 36 on the bus 36 on the waist and the hip line i decided to go with 36 throughout from my past experience when i made this wrong called jumpsuit i will attach a card somewhere here either here or there of my review of that pattern and it ended up coming off quite big i to take in each and every piece so i learned my lesson from that particular pattern because it's from the same pattern house you would expect the sizing to be pretty much the same so this time i decided to go with size 36 throughout no blending into anything else given that it's a free dress in all honesty, without the ties, it will be a free dress. It's not, it's not that free, but the ties help, should it be quite a bit big, the ties help with cinching in the waistline. And I'm, I went for long sleeves, cause it's winter here, there's no way I would make butterfly sleeves or anything. I would want something I don't have to wear, I jump her over. And the long sleeves feature an elastic, However, with the pattern, they just recommend that you cut an elastic that's 12 inches long. I said to go down to 10, but still, as you can tell, it still comes off big. I love to go in and shorten the elastic I put in. And I decided to go for bias binding over, because if you're going for version B, 
which features a crossover, a full wrap. They recommend that you cut up two pieces of the bodice piece. The front bodice piece, I didn't find that necessary considering that my fabric was thick enough already. I think it would have ended up being bulky should I have gone with both two pieces of all these. So I decided to omit that and I went with a bias binding which sewed up really well. And I like the way it came out. And I think the bias binding helps also not leave this space quite loose that it easily opens when you want to conceal a lot of what goes on here. I think the bias binding helps give it a firm, a firm grip onto the skin. No firm grip, I don't know what to phrase it as, but it helps sit onto the body much better. And I'll show you what it looks like in the back. Let's stand here and show you what it looks like. I'll try to attach a few pictures of what this dress looks like in full because in this camera I can't get my entire body in but it comes together pretty well the instructions are easy to follow but it's not a beginner's project it's quite I don't know I think because I was in between preparing for Christmas and everything I felt like it dragged on so long it wasn't a quick make I cut up the pieces definitely there's a lot that goes on because it has so many seams there are seams the just the front skirt piece has three pieces and the same goes on to the back one there are three pieces the middle panel then the side panel so just the skirt piece alone has six pieces of seams to sort pieces to sew together and then the front definitely features princess seams i don't know if this is clear the camera can't focus but it features princess seams which is still a lot of sewing, a lot of fitting to do. And then the back features, back, back dots. And of course, an invisible zip. And if anything, should you have fears of the invisible zip, the, the ties try to conceal in any, because the zip is fitted after, in front of the tie. So when you put the ties together, they can conceal in any blemish, but also care has to be taken when you're sewing the invisible zipper close to the ties you can easily mess up if you make it so close to the ties you might not be able you might struggle with pulling it over the bulky fabric and that seam where the ties and the waistline band all meet so i think you can get away with not getting it fully invisible because it would work in your favor and i also i could show you the slit this is where my slit ends. Don't know if it's evident. And if I hadn't gone for this, the slit was coming up four inches above. It was quite high up. And you can see already it's above my knee, but four inches higher above, I was going to show a little bit too much. So I shortened the slit by four inches, a good four inches, because it was quite high up. I even saw that coming. I knew I would do that. And also shortened the shortened the length by three and a half inches it was quite a long dress right i'm wearing it with heeled boots but still with that it's still long enough if i'm not careful i could step in the dress as i walk even after shortening it by three and a half inches all in all i love this dress would i recommend it to anyone yes please it's a good dress. I loved wearing it today. I felt glamorous. I felt elegant. And I've had so many compliments today. And I was like, oh, it wouldn't hurt if this is my new 2020 that I make more of such dresses to wear to church. And because I don't go to so many parties in the UK, most of my friends and family are back home in Africa. So I, I don't have any parties I'll be keeping these dresses for. So I could wear them. I could turn this into my normal Sunday outfits. I actually thought glamorous and felt nice when my kids were complimenting me so i think it's really a good dress i'm not sure if i'll be making one quite soon because it's been quite a level of love it has taken quite a bit of time putting together i could say i don't think it's the dress in its own in itself will take that long i think it has to do with planning for christmas with a lot that you have to put together around that time and you can't have that time to dedicate to the dress but I think if you have a few days in a week that you can devote to it, you can be done with it. And my friends who sew pretty fast, 
don't be surprised if you get this done in a in a day which i can never do i can't do it i can't say i can never do i shouldn't say can't but i know it calls for a lot of commitment sometimes you just feel like i need a break i love the way this dress has come together it's brilliant it's glamorous it's an elegant dress i had another fabric which i had meant to sew it up in but i think for now i'll stick to this I will sew up this. Let me sew up other things probably towards the end of the year if I feel like I should make another. I'll get along with that. But let me know what you think. Would you like to try the Magnolia dress for the New Year? It's really a beautiful dress. I believe it flatters all body sizes and shapes. Because with this, with this ties, they help cinch in the waistline. And if you love the plunge, it works perfectly well. If you want to cover up, and also it comes in a a knee length version i'm not sure i'm keen on the knee length unless if i'm going to omit the sleeves and actually you can also make it sleeveless i noticed when when before i had attached the sleeves it wasn't gaping at all nothing was showing so probably the next time i decide to make one i'll make it without the sleeves and make it sleeveless I'll probably finish it up with bias binding the same way i did with the neckline so that's it that's all i could say say about the magnolia dress i love the final outcome i'll try to attach pictures of me in this dress and let me know what you think will you sew up this dress and anyway that's it with today i'd like to wish you a fantastic 2020 i don't know what you're up to i don't know which plans you have for 2020 the goals you've set but may you be satisfied with a happy life long life perfect health in 2020 and may all your dreams come true. Until next time, Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Good old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. Should old acquaintance be forgot and all anxiety. Take a cup of kindness yet for all